Imagine the iconic Niagara Falls, a natural wonder that has amazed millions, suddenly drained of its roaring waters. What secrets could the empty riverbed reveal? Well, believe it or not, several decades ago, scientists did just that and stumbled upon a discovery that left them stunned. Fucation presents Scientists Make Disturbing Discovery After Draining Niagara Falls more than a landmark. Niagara Falls is a spectacle that has captured the imagination of people around the world. Straddling the border between the U.S. and Canada, this awe-inspiring landmark consists of three separate falls. The American Falls, the Bridal Veil Falls, and the Canadian Horseshoe Fall. Together, they unleash an astonishing 85,000 cubic feet of water per second, creating a misty aura and a thunderous roar that can be heard miles away. The falls have a rich history, deeply intertwined with the indigenous peoples who first inhabited the area. Area. They considered it a sacred site, a gift from the gods that symbolized the power of nature. Fast forward to today, and Niagara Falls has become a must-see destination, attracting over 30 million visitors each year. Whether it's honeymooners looking for a romantic backdrop, adventure seekers daring to get up close on a boat tour, or families enjoying the surrounding parks and attractions, there's something for everyone. But what if this natural wonder was suddenly empty? The draining event. In 1969, a significant event occurred that temporarily stopped the roaring waters of Niagara Falls, specifically the American Falls. It wasn't a natural phenomenon, but a planned effort by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and the International Joint Commission. The primary reason was to study the erosion and buildup of rocks, known as talus, at the base of the falls. The talus had reached almost halfway up the cliff and was affecting the flow of water, causing concern among local residents. To get a a closer look, the engineers built a coffer dam, an enclosure made of 27,000 tons of earth and rock to redirect the water and expose the riverbed. Unexpected Discoveries When the water was successfully redirected, engineers and scientists were not the only ones interested in what lay beneath. The general public and media were equally fascinated. While geological features were expected, what was not anticipated were human remains. Two bodies, a man and a woman, were found at the bottom of the falls. The identities of these people remain unknown, but their discovery raised many questions and added a layer of mystery to the intriguing project. A history of thrills and tragedies. Niagara has always been a magnet for daredevils and thrill seekers. Since the 1820s, people have been taking the plunge over the falls in various contraptions like barrels and casks. While some survived, many did not, adding to the falls long and dark history. Between 1850 and 2011, approximately 5,000 bodies were recovered from the bottom of the falls. This makes the discovery of just two bodies in 1969 all the more puzzling. Wishes and Realizations In addition to human remains, millions of coins were found among the talus during the 1969 project. These coins were likely thrown in by tourists making wishes, unaware that their tokens would become a part of a historical event. After extensive work, engineers decided to leave the eroded talus in place, realizing that it actually supported the cliff face behind the falls. Despite the unexpected outcomes, the project wasn't without purpose. It led to efforts to stabilize the falls using anchors, bolts, and cables, ensuring that Niagara Falls would continue to be a natural wonder for years to come. Man versus Nature The 1969 project sparked debates about human intervention in natural processes. The International Joint Commission concluded that, quote, man should not interfere with the natural process. Yet, discussions have emerged in recent years about the possibility of once again draining the falls for restoration purposes. These debates highlight the ongoing tension between the desire to preserve natural beauty and the impulse to intervene for safety or aesthetic reasons. The Environmental Impact While the project was primarily focused on geological and structural aspects, it also had implications for the local ecosystem. Draining the falls disrupted the habitats of fish and other aquatic life, but efforts were made to minimize this impact. Fish were relocated and the water was gradually reintroduced to allow the ecosystem to adjust. The event served as a lesson in the delicate balance between human intervention and environmental preservation. Public Fascination The draining of the falls was a spectacle that drew attention globally. People were captivated by the idea of seeing what was beneath the powerful torrents of water. The event was widely covered by the media, and it became a temporary tourist attraction in its own right. 
Visitors flocked to the site, eager to witness this once-in-a-lifetime event. The Economic Angle Niagara Falls is a significant source of revenue for the local economy, drawing millions each year. The 1969 project raised concerns about the potential loss of tourist income. But the spectacle of the drained falls actually attracted more visitors, eager to witness this unique event. The project therefore had an unexpected economic benefit, albeit a temporary one. It also led to increased funding for conservation efforts, ensuring the long-term sustainability of this tourist hotspot. Safety measures One of the key outcomes of the 1969 project was the implementation of various safety measures. The study of the exposed riverbed allowed engineers to identify potential hazards that could affect the stability of the falls and the safety of visitors. Warning systems were improved and barriers were erected in certain areas to prevent accidents. These measures have contributed to making Niagara Falls not just a natural wonder, but also a safer place for tourists. Ethical Considerations The discovery of human remains during the project raised some ethical questions about how to handle such sensitive findings. While the identities of the people were never determined, the event sparked discussions about the ethical responsibilities of scientists and engineers when confronted with unexpected human elements in their research. It served as a reminder that even in the pursuit of scientific knowledge, ethical considerations should not be overlooked. Future Prospects The 1969 project has had a lasting impact on how we view and manage Niagara Falls. It's led to ongoing discussions about the possibility of future interventions for restoration or study. While no concrete plans have been made, the event serves as a reference point for what can be achieved through human ingenuity and what lessons can be learned from interacting with nature on such a grand scale. The project's legacy More than five decades have passed since the falls were drained, but the event remains a significant chapter in the history of Niagara Falls. It serves as a case study in engineering, environmental science, and public interest. The project had its share of unexpected findings and challenges, but it ultimately contributed to a better understanding and appreciation of one of the world's most iconic natural wonders. The draining of Niagara Falls was more than just a scientific endeavor, it was a moment that captured the imagination of people world Worldwide. It brought together various fields of study, from engineering and geology to ethics and economics. While the falls have since returned to their natural state, the insights gained and the questions raised continue to ripple through time. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you remember when they drained Niagara Falls? Would you like to see them do it again? Let us know in the comments section below.